Hey everybody, it's Melody Lane here, and I am here on Friday. I was here, when was I here? But I was here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and gonna be Saturday. Don't miss Saturday's Design Space class, 11 a.m. There's gonna be a giveaway, as I do a giveaway in every Design Space class. I'm gonna be answering your questions, because I don't know what else to teach you, because I've taught it everything so i'm gonna ask your questions live and i will answer them um so i let me find the chat good morning guys you guys are always here early i love you guys uh we are live on facebook and youtube and twitch i see your questions on youtube and facebook and twitch all right here hi everyone um so today what did i i was playing around with this other image my elephant, I lost it. Oh, it's right here under my phone. I was playing around with this a little more. So I discovered, I thought after I engraved this piece, this was engraved, I just scribbled paint over it is all I did. Anybody can do it. But after I engraved this with the new engraving tip, I thought it was a disaster and I had to throw away the paper. And I'm like, there's gotta be some, we gotta save the paper, right? So um, I figured out how. I don't know how it just popped into my head. Let's try this, so I did. So we're going to show you that I'm doing a big peacock. I've never painted a peacock. We're gonna have fun and we're just gonna do it. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. We are going to use the new I don't think they're actually new. They're new to me. Arteza sent them to me. I've never used watercolors in a tube. So they sent these to me. I opened them yesterday in yesterday's video. I have not opened them. You saw me look at them in yesterday's video and that's all I've done. So I haven't done any more than that. One thing I wanted to get, Kelly, can you find that white dish? For the paints, do you know what I'm talking about? I think it was in one of those baskets. That's one thing I was gonna do. Totally forgot until just now. Uh um, no, over here in those teal baskets. The one in the bottom left corner, I think. Yep. Yep, okay. We are gonna use that. This big, huge thing. You don't need a big, huge thing, but uh, we're gonna try that. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you the paper. It's still in my Cricut machine. I have not done anything to it. Uh, so I wanted to show it to you. So let's go over here. Okay. So we have everything so big. This is what we painted yesterday with the Arteza pan watercolors. This is what I did practicing I did practice that one because I wanted to see how it looked on the embossed never done that before okay Look at my machine. I don't think you guys can see that well okay now that's shadowing that okay can you guys see that doesn't that look like a mess? You can kind of see that there's a peacock in there. Kind of. But it's a huge mess. Okay. And I thought, you can't paint that. So here's what I did. I took one of these lint roller that I had on my desk for the infusible ink. I just ordered some more of these from Amazon. I thought I ordered them before and I'm like, that lint roller never came in. But I have a habit of thinking like a squirrel or seeing a squirrel. And I guess it's a dog seeing a squirrel is where it comes from. So I'm gonna go like this. This is not going to fix it. It does help. You see all of that on there? I probably need to do another one. But I'm gonna show you, this, this does not, it doesn't look like it's helped at all, but it has, because it's gotten rid of all this. 
So hopefully this will work like the other one because we have sandpaper. This I've used, I got this from my clay drawer where one time I had bought at like Home Depot or something. This one is 60 grit. Um, this really was just the easiest one in my drawer to grab. That is the reason I chose this one. Or I had a 20 grit that was really smooth it and that I didn't think would do much. So I'm gonna make a mess. Don't. Maybe I'll make a mess on this paper and then I can dump it into the garbage. So, well, you know what? I'm gonna use this box. This is also the Arteza 100% Cotton Cold Press Expert Watercolor Pen. This is that paper. And we're just gonna kind of sand it away. Sorry if you don't like the sound. Can't help it. Have you guys ever sandpapered paper? You can do that if you're using paper that doesn't have a solid core and you emboss it, you can go over it with sandpaper. Peggy, the new blades are not available yet, but they're coming very soon. Um, you could have gotten them on HSN, but I think they're sold out. They're coming really soon. Oh, I also want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel next week not only will there be one giveaway but there will be two or more giveaways next week hit that subscribe button it's completely free to subscribe Looks like a mess. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. You do not want to sandpaper it. Can you guys, oh, the stupid light. I have this light, but can't make it. Kelly, can you turn off the overhead light for a minute? Maybe that will help. Okay, I think so. Can you guys see this better? It's a little smoother done here. Just keep it off for a few minutes. I'll tell you when to turn it back on. I think it's fine until we start coloring. Is this, oh, this one is that Anna's bright. Hold on. 
Oh, now it's all. Is that better? Okay. You got it. Once you get all these little, like, they're not strings, but I'm going to call them strings. If it was fabric, they would be strings. Kind of brush those off before you keep continuing to sand paper, I think. I've only done this once on that smaller image. more smooth so there will be less pieces like on top of it. Oh my gosh, my shirt is a mess. <laughs> Maybe don't wear black shirts while you're doing this or wear an apron. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do this thing again. I don't wanna have any little pieces on this. This is so detailed. Turn, you guys cannot see it at all. It's going to be, there you can see tiny bits. You can see that there's some engraving in it. Can you see that now on the bend? It's, it's really big. It's like this big. Okay, now everything's dusty. Just a warning. Let's get rid of this dust. My things keep touching it. It was like snow. I just threw it in the garbage. But uh, if you're really thrifty, you could have saved the sandpaper pieces. Thank you, Pierre. Purple Paisley Planner. Um, you could have saved it for like snow on a project. Oh my gosh, that just hit me. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Save your little shavings. Put them in a Ziploc baggie because you could like glue those on a card for snow or for Christmas. It would be so cool. All right. Callie, do you want to turn the light back on, please? I have the best Callie ever. Oh, wait. I got more of my things out my watercolor brushes. Okay. So now it, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, I showed you. Okay. Oh, and there's dust all over this too. Don't have a fan blowing on you while you're sanding the paper. I didn't even think of dust. Okay, you live and learn. Now, if you remember yesterday, if you watched the video yesterday, I did say I'm going to make mistakes today and you're going to learn from them. So, what did we all learn today? We learned to that there's gonna be lots and lots of dust 
So be careful with that. Oh, I was even going to pick out some colors I was going to use today. Let me pick some out. We're doing a peacock. I've never painted a peacock in my life, but these colors look pretty. We're going to use those. I want to, I want some a little yellow. Um, yellow pale. No. We'll try this one. I want some teal colors. There's the lime green, but I don't know. You guys, if you're new to my channel, I am not a professional artist whatsoever we'll see what that looks like this light green looks better but it might be different on the palette Ooh, look at that pink one neon pink let's play with it and this violet oh that's lilac this one's violet I want like a teal. I might have to make a teal. Um, take this blue off. Is that oh, there's more? I don't know what that one's gonna be. It looks fun. Also white. I don't think we want white. We won't see white in our project. Okay. No. Okay. Putting those there. Um. I'm going to, I've never even opened these. They have a lot of info on them. They have these pluses for light fast. Light fast means how long they last if they fade. I think three pluses is good. But remember, I am not a professional artist. I don't know about all that stuff. And then there's some, some letters and stuff for the hues and different things like that. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's probably too much paint. Yeah, white would help mixing colors, but I don't want to mix any colors with white. I want bright colors. This is the lilac, right? Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't really call that lilac, but maybe it's different. I'm gonna put purple in the same little square. Ooh, that's dark. But it will probably be much lighter. Okay, we're gonna, this is Serbian blue. And usually with watercolor tubes, oh, I just got picked up. Um, you can let it dry and re-wet them, but from the reviews I've seen, um, you can't do that. I'm gonna put some of this blue over here. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of it with the green. You can't do that with the Arteza brand. I don't know what this one is. A Viridian green? Ooh, okay, see, you know, that's like what I want. That's pretty. We'll put some of that in here too. I think these paints will last me a lifetime. All right, here's yellow. Let's put yellow over here. Pretty yellow. And in my elephant that I did, I only did it in just a few colors mixed them together and so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing here this is rose and so I don't know I'm probably not going to use all these colors but this is neon pink whoa that's really neon 
I don't think I want to use that one. I think I want to use the rose though. Okay, so now I have lots of these watercolor. I'm going to show you. I bought the package of six and then one of them came in my pans, which might be a duplicate. I don't know where they all are. And I can't take the lid off. There we go. This is a real big fat one. This one, I think, is, oh, I think this one came with my watercolor pins that I used yesterday. I can tell by the color. <laughs> and one of these is really fine. That's like an average size. This is the fine one. It's round and, oh, you guys can't see it that well. Oh, I'm holding it to the light instead of the camera. Let's see, it does really fine, which we, I, I might use today. I'm leaving my watercolor paper on the mat, so it may, I'm thinking it may curl up less. Okay, and I think I want his feet yellow. You guys, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. So no comments saying she has no idea what she's doing. So I said it first. I don't claim to know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, you know what I did yesterday? I have to remember. I wet just a little mist of a spray. I'm using this as a chalk couture spray bottle. I love it. It's so, it's like a mist. I've never seen a water bottle like this before. And he has a little feet. Oh, I was gonna show you too. This needs more water. So we're gonna spray water on it and we're gonna pick it up. So I want the paint to go in the cracks of the engraving. And we're gonna wipe it off just blot it off the top surface and it will be darker where it's engraved. You can't see well. We'll, we'll make sure you can see it better at the end. Um, it's really hard to see where I gotta look in design space. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So this is what it looks like after you finish getting it cut. It tells you uh, to put in the engraving clamp. It tells you the uh, you're gonna need the fine point because I put a square around it to cut it out. Let me click finish. Yeah, that's how I learned everything is by trial and error. And I'm just doing it live in front of you guys. So I can see this better. Thank you, Heather. I am going to have this up so I can kind of look at this and see about where things go. Maybe I can see them much better than you guys can. Oh, you guys can't see me. Much better than you guys can in uh, the video. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush. Wait, I want some yellow in those circles, I think. Ooh, I can, I think those circles are going through here. So I'm going to spray that part again where those circles are. Mix some of this paint up with more water. I can squeeze some water down there by squeezing these little push buttons. Oh, that's the 
big one there. And these are, I don't know. They're harder to see once they're wet, but I think they're in here. And I want more paint, less water now. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. I'm, I'm not going to try to be a detailed painting. This is as detailed as I'm going to get. The rest, I think, well, I'm going to try to get the bird something. And it's harder to do it when I'm trying to show you guys exactly. Down here, I'm going to do pink, and then I'm going to do blue on the bird. I see the top of his head right there. And then we're just going to kind of blend in and do just some easy painting. That makes sense. Now, to clean my brush, I'm squeezing out a little water and just wiping it until it's more clear. I'm probably not going to use this brush anymore for this project. I'll make sure this one's, okay, this has blue in it from yesterday. All right, let's play with the pink. Oh, we need water. What does pink and yellow do? We could stick a little neon in it. Okay. And if you have questions, I'm going to try to answer the questions after. You see the lines in there a little better now? Okay. Um, probably gonna use a little pink again later. I'm gonna use the blue now. some of the blue with the teal.
Need more water. There we go. So you can see where I did my first strings of too much paint, not enough water, where it was really dry. I can't see the engraving as well in those areas. That's why I say you need more water. Ronald. Okay, now we are going to do. Oh, I, let's go ahead and do some blue underneath here. Let's wet it first. This is the coolest water bottle ever. Okay. I had way too much paint on this blue. See, you guys are learning lots of mistakes not to do. But it's okay, because I'm just playing. I, I'm really just playing. I'm not doing anything with this picture. We're going to play with some green now. Maybe a little bit of this green in it. Oh, and we're going to spray the picture. And let's put a little green here. See, there's so much on my brush. I don't want that much on there. There we go. Some green in the blue. I'm just doing whatever I want to do. <laughs> whatever just hits me to do is what I'm doing. Oh, I like the 
leave that standing. Paper towels. These are nice, thick paper towels. Are these Viva brand? Oh, yeah. Viva? Mm, yes, yeah. Yeah, they're Viva brand, which are great. I heard from a actual artist on YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's looking cool. I want to do more green. A little darker green. Just going up and around the yellow. Ooh, let's add a little bit of blue underneath each yellow. You know, like those, I said I wasn't going to get detailed. I don't think it's detailed. I don't know what I'm doing. But peacocks... You know, they have that color. Let's cool. Mm, I still feel like we need more green over here. I usually don't get phone calls during a video. I don't know why, but yesterday and today, I think. Okay, this time I'm not going to wipe it off. Oh yeah, let's blend in that blue and yellow. Have you guys noticed I don't plan a whole lot out, I just do? Life's much easier that way. Okay. I want to do some purple. Sound effects included, no extra charge. It is more fun when you make sound effects while you're doing anything. I sometimes do it without thinking. Okay. Oh, I was going to play with purple. Purple, purple. Lavender was the lighter one. They also have a lighter one mixed with white in a tube, I think, already, too. And then this one's darker. It's like really dark. Okay, I'm going to wipe that one off. Like I'm wiping it off. It looks like black almost. Okay. 
just put it here. Add a little water. You just gotta try, guys. If you've never painted before, don't worry. Plan on throwing it away and just see what happens. That's so many people are afraid to use their Cricut. They're afraid to cut with paper. They're afraid to cut with vinyl. Just try it maybe on scraps and plan to throw it away. Uh, oh, let's, um, let's blow this with some water. Can you guys see the lines starting to form? The engraved part? I'm gonna add some paint to this. There's little humps here. And I don't care if peacocks don't look like this or peacocks aren't this color. I don't care at all. I like these colors. And when I think of peacocks, I think of these colors. Every once in a while, there's a little curly cue up here. One. I'm looking, I can't see the top of it. There, it's a short one, that's my fault. I'm kind of looking at it in design space because I can see them a little bit, but they're hard to see. This is fun. See what it looks like if we pick it up. Ooh. You can really see the engraving when I pick it up. I'm letting it sit in there for a few minutes. Ooh. Ah. done with the peacock but what's on this brush is this one I could this is purple um, let's add a little bit of this teal oh I need more water Oh, let's use some of that yellow. I really feel like I should be done, but I just want to paint some more. I can see these little pieces here. Let's make them yellow. Right, 
you know. There you go. He also has these little things right here sticking up from his head. Let's make those blue. Oh, we should make them purple. But I don't know how the purple will look with the green. That lime green and purple, because yellow and purple are opposite and they kind of make a brown. So I'm not, oh, look at that. That might be pretty. We're gonna let it sit for a minute. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Should I do the background with like some color, maybe some blue, like, like how I did this one? throw your pens, your brush, just called it a pencil. Let me see if I can kind of pick some of this blue up. No, I can't. So we're going to add a little blue down here at the bottom. Follow this little curvy. There we go. Look, I fixed it. Maybe we should do that down here. Maybe a little curvy or something. Hmm, we'll do this one too. Okay, are we gonna do the background? Gotta know when to stop, yeah, I know. That's my hard part. Okay, yes, please, background. Okay, we're gonna do the big old brush. Is that this one? No, this one. Woohoo, it's fat. Okay, um, let me put these on here. Let's do a background with these colors. We want more water. Lots of water. I didn't, what I was doing yesterday, which was a great idea, don't know why I'm not doing it today, is I would put this on here first on um, like scrap paper like this one it's the same watercolor paper see that's too dark i want it lighter to see what it looks like oh i know how to do it use lots of water here so I went from this one, which has more color, then I watered it down here, and I'm watering this down even more over here. I can't see real well. And then that is just more like a lighter wash. Okay. Then I'm gonna start in the outer corners. And that's still kind of light. Let's water it down. I did not use the wavy blade on the peacock like I did the other one yesterday.
So we're getting some green blue in his feet. This is not wet. If you don't want it to blend, you have to wait for that to dry and not wet it again. Oh, that was the wrong one. And I just found something else out by going over these edges. I can see where I scraped it with the sandpaper. So that's good to know. I couldn't see it on the elephant. Maybe I did it more on this one. See these scraping marks? I'll show them up close in a minute. My pink. I'm losing these. Spraying that water in there. There we go. Where's my mark? Add a little green. Let's add a little purple. Oh, that might ruin it. Yeah, it looks muddier, darker. Am I saying that to mix purple and green? <laughs> Kobe, bless you. My dog is sneezing. That usually means he's got to go potty. Don't like this one. I should have stopped at the blue, but I'm here to make mistakes for you guys. Let's just spray it out. We're going to do it the Diane Reevely way. I feel like I didn't get up in here. That's kind of cool. Okay. That's not bad. It's fun. Kelly, can you um, turn the light out again? I wish I could have Alexa turn it off. No. I shouldn't have said her name. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see the engraving of it? See now, I should probably go over these little parts more with some blue, like those, because they kind of washed away a little bit. But I think it's fun. It's not bad. And I'm leaving it on the mat so it dries flat. You can see where it's cut. I'm going to heat up the dryer. No. I'm going to heat it up with my tool. You can use a hair dryer if you want. And this is popping up right there. I'm going to I'm going to take it off the mat. Now, Patricia says she would love to see an embossed version. The embossed would be cool, too, because this one is embossed. And um, it kind of, you can see the lines a little better. And you could do more detailed if it was embossed. And you could see it better. And you wouldn't have to sandpaper it. And it would be beautiful. That's all I can say. It's not completely dry. Okay, we need to dry this more, I think. Let's take this part off. Because I feel like I could rip it because it's not dry. So, another tip. Don't take it off your mat wet. Have you ever seen anybody uh, watercolor on top of a Cricut mat? I haven't. We'll see how it works. It worked good for my other stuff. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. I'll have Kelly share a link for it for the Wagner heating tool. It's the best one. I have cheaper ones that are not as good. wet because the mat is wet underneath here the mat got a little wet you can clean the mat with a baby wipe and it will be fine here's the back <laughs> can you see the engraving like any detail you see is all the engraving see that is that cool I really like it. Okay, let's go back over here. Maybe you can see better in this. Oh yeah. 
See that? That is really cool. I should have thought of that before to show you in this camera. There it is up close. I mean, you guys saw me paint that. It was just, it was real easy. Thank you, Tammy Richards. And this image is in Design Space. Let me show you. Oh, here's the elephant I did yesterday if you're just joining. That was just, I mixed a few indigo and black together and got this. This is just engraved with the Cricut. I did the same thing I did today on this one, except for just one color. Oh, it's kind of like, remember when we were kids? Depending on how old you are, I guess. They had uh, paper that you just go over with clear water, and then there's a magic color there. Do you guys remember that? I remember that. There, it was like magic, and you just use water, no paints, because my mom did not like paints and messy stuff. So it was fun. Okay, let's go to design space. There's my, I want to call it a chicken, my peacock. Um, I'm going to right click to show you the in image information. View cartridge. There's actually two cartridges with these, so we'll uh, look at the other one. So this is the peacock image I did. Now it depends on how detailed the image is and how uh, big you need to make it. I made this one pretty big. Um, this is not the elephant I did. I did a different elephant. The elephant I did was actually on a t-shirt cartridge. Uh, but look at the unicorn. And this paw you could do much smaller because it would be uh, smaller. Look at the eagle and the dolphin. I had a problem deciding between the dolphin and the peacock, but I had those purples and pinks and blue and teal colors in my head, but the dolphin would be really easy with some blues. And the owl, this one I would make as big as it will fit on your paper because it is so detailed. You need to make it bigger. Oh, and there's the dog. The dog you can make a little smaller because it's not as intricate. This would be awesome in some reds and pinks, that heart. Um, let's go to other cartridges. And you can turn any project. Oh, I want to show you my Takasaurus. You guys, I meant to show you this yesterday and you could deboss it. Um, oh, here's the second one. Oh, there was another one there too. Look at how fun these are. Butterfly, that would be fun. The snake, it looks very intricate, and um, I guess if you like snakes, that could be cool and some fun color. There's a deer. I love that cat, too. That guy and the lion. The turtle. It's very detailed. You want to make them bigger. Let's go back to cartridges. This one. Oh, these are printables. That's where I saw that. These you have to print, so you don't want to use those. But you can use any of these. Oh, and letters. Mandela monograms. Did you guys even know that was there? I did, but I forgot about it. Uh, but you could do, it has the whole alphabet and all the numbers. And then it just has mandalas. And these look like they might be printable. Um, there was the... Oh, I need to spell. My fingers were one off. Oh, I have to click on this first. I'm just searching shirt in cartridges. I gotta find where that. You could do any of these. T-shirt collection, it might be that one. Oh no, it was this one, trendy t-shirts. Has the elephant I did. You could turn any of these into it. So that's the elephant I did. 
Let me show you my Takasaurus. And I want to show you how to change these if you have the maker and the new blades. I think I found him. There he is. Okay, now how cute would this be? And it would be a real simple image. I'm thinking for a little boy to paint. Uh, I'm going to click on Takasaurus. We're gonna, let's just hide that. So um, I would, my suggestion for him is to turn him into a debossed image and then uh, you can really see the lines and see where to paint. And you could give this to a child and give him some paints and he's gonna make a Takasaurus. Who doesn't want a Takasaurus? Okay, let's go back. Let me show you. So here it is. Here's my suggestion because I turned this into a deboss and then I'm like, I don't know what color it's supposed to be because I'm not always that creative to know what color to make things. And I like to look at pictures sometimes. So I'm going to duplicate him and I want to change him to debossed so I can see the line so I can color just like a coloring book. So I have it selected. I'm going to go over to line type and click deboss and there I go now I would also like him to be on a square something that cuts out so I don't have to cut out of the watercolor paper with scissors because I'm not very good at that so I'm gonna add a shape a square I'm gonna unlock it cover that up send it to the back change it to white let me put the grid on so you can see better. Select them both by just dragging my mouse over them both. Up here is a line. Click center and attach. And now this will deboss and you can color it. You can use watercolor paper and you can look at the picture. And I mean, you don't have to use those colors. You can just do whatever you want. But for me, I like to have a little guide there. Okay, are there any questions? Yeah, I love that turtle too, Galen. And the butterfly. I, I love them all. Yeah, Judy, you remember the magic watercolor books? All right. Did you guys learn anything today? I hope you learned what not to do at least. That's always good to learn what not to do. All right guys, we're gonna be here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And I'm doing a giveaway during my video. I always do on Saturdays. So make sure you're there. Make sure you're on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed because there are a whole lot more things coming next week. Okay? Subscribe. Subscribe. It's free. Just click that little red button. You might have to sign into your Google account or YouTube account. And let me tell you another reason to subscribe. I don't get money if you subscribe. I don't really get anything. So I don't know why it matters. But, um, oh, when you're subscribed and you start a video or a playlist like my whole Cricut Designs, I think I have a hundred classes that are free for a design space and it knows where you left off. So if you're signed in while you watch those, YouTube knows right where you left off. And if you go back to that video, it will start you where you left off. And there's a little red line underneath the videos you've seen before. Sometimes you're looking for videos you've seen before because you uh, saw a technique or something and you need to see what you've seen before. And you can go to your history. There's history on YouTube and you can watch what you've already seen. I need that sometimes. Like, I know I watched that video like just the other day. So I go to history. I'm like, there it is. Um, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have a YouTube account. It's all free. All right, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, 
if tag me on social media. Uh, uh, my Instagram is at Melody Lane 815 and Facebook is actually the same thing or Melody Lane Designs. I have Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, Crafting with Melody Lane and Friends. All these groups are on Facebook and I would love to see your projects that you share from my videos that, well, any projects actually, but especially the ones that um, I've inspired you to do. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I got to get something to eat. It's lunchtime. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.